Alright guys, welcome back to Ball and Feed. Today we're going to be talking about how to count the beats and the music to dance to it. So let's jump right in. Alright guys, so counting music can be the hardest thing when you're starting out, especially if you didn't grow up playing an instrument or dancing or anything like that. So the first thing we want to try to do is actually find the beat in the music, which sounds silly. But if you're just clapping to a song, you naturally find the beat. And sometimes people are more challenged than others. I suggest doing this with a group of people, maybe somebody who has some music knowledge or just a song that you are already familiar with and has a hard hitting beat. So just try to clap to the music first without even trying to count anything. Just finding that hard hitting beat and then the next step we'll go over with Chris. We typically count music in beats of four and eight. Four is the simplest way to count it because without getting too detailed, there's four beats in every measure of music, right? There are some dances that count in threes, like waltz or Vini's waltz, but most dances count in beats of four, right? So when counting the music, we start and we go one, two, three, four, and you can repeat that over and over again, one, two, three, four. And then sometimes we count in eights because of how music is phrased. There's a very repetitive pattern that you get in music very often, where every eight counts is a new phrase in the music and four eight counts is an even bigger phrase in the music. There is a difference between the one count and the five count in music, which is why we count in eights a lot of the time. And you can do more things and make it clear in your head by using different numbers and always repeating one through four every single time. You'll notice on the channel that we count a lot of our dances in fours because it's very repetitive and clear and you can make a lot of the same rules work for the same numbers. Where you'll see in a lot of our choreographies, the full on dance routines that we have for you guys, we use eights a lot of the time because it's clearer and easier to learn a longer section of choreography and use a more diverse grouping of numbers instead of just one, two, three, four over and over again, right? But music is typically phrased and eight beats, and we go one, two, three, four, all the way through to five, six, seven, eight, which is why when you hear people count five, six, seven, eight, and now we start on the one again, because we never go past eight with a nine and a 10. Okay, so the next few is just kind of repeating what we said before. So you, now that you've hopefully been able to clap to the beat, which is just finding the natural beat in the song, and then being able to add numbers to that, whether or not you found the one or not, now the next is to practice to find the one or the first beat in the music. And the way we can do this easily is by starting the song and as soon as the first beat hits, start counting one. So there are some songs that will change phrasing a bit and then you will have to do like instead of a full eight, it'll go down to a four and then back up to an eight. So it is easier to start just count just by counting in fours. So that way you never really run into that problem. But you wanna start with a song that you're familiar with. So you'll kind of already be able to find the beat without really thinking about it. And you'll know when the song starts. So if you start with a song you know, find the beat right away and start counting one once you've found it easy to clap to. And the next couple tips are really just to find a song A that you know, find a song that has an easy beat to hear. It's not like a soft piano song, some pop music, something with hard hitting sounds that is easy to clap to. That's the first thing. And then of course, you just gotta practice this. So it takes time and it does take some practice to different kinds of music. So the most popular form of music obviously is upbeat. It's the pop music you hear on the radio, top 40. A lot of weddings and parties will play this kind of upbeat, fast music. And most of the time, those songs have those easy beats to find because it's meant to be danced to. So there's easy beats and usually it's pretty consistent. So what we're gonna do now is do a little practice exercise where we're gonna play some basic beats and we're gonna try to clap to it together and then I'll start counting it with you, okay? But we also recommend practicing this with a either musical person, friend in your life, maybe a dancer, or if you are taking ballroom dance lessons, something like this, you can always ask your instructor to guide you through it. But this is a great place to start. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a song that we found that has a pretty clear beat. It's upbeat, so hopefully you guys can hear it with us, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start clapping and I'm gonna start on the one and then Chris is gonna help us start counting to the music and practicing, and you can jump in along with us for the practice, okay? So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can keep doing this for practice, but this is just an exercise to kind of get you started. 
and see if you can pick up the beat with us, okay? So you can try this with all different kinds of music, of course, but this is a good place to start. So I hope this helped you and I hope it gave you some ideas of how to get you started on how to count music exactly. And we'll do some more very specific videos for each dance style again. So comment down below which dance style you're maybe wanting to know exactly and we'll do that for you, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you liked it, be sure to comment down below and let us know what dance you want us to count specifically because we are going to get into some of the specific dance styles and teach you how to count to those kinds of music. And stay tuned for that and be sure to check out all of our website content for just technique, dances, choreographies, all that stuff. And we'll see you again in the next one. Bye.